you talking about the Arctic or this Cold War bunker? Yes, it's scary for me here too. And regarding your question, you remember that strong storm that started and we had to come down here? Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. Well, I'm sorry. You'd better ask our microbiologist about that. that there's equipment here and we can properly study the samples. I'm not exactly sure yet, but it looks like some kind of microorganism. It looks like we found what we were looking for, Thomas. We need to examine these samples to understand exactly what they are. Let's observe further. Thomas. Maya's calling you. She says she's discovered something. Hey, Thomas. You just won't believe it. And you better put that mug on the table. Take a look at this. saw an ancient organism awakening after being frozen in ice for thousands of years. I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. Not quite everything that is needed, but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute.
stupid piece of... They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just static. Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. going to do that's not what I'm talking about the radio works it's just that the signal can't get through because of the storm I'm talking about you and Maya come on I can see the way you look at her well why are you waiting life is too short I once missed my chance with a beauty from the Institute nope it was a very long time ago she worked with me on a project we seemed to get along. Then I asked her out and we had a good time. Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station. And then here. So three years have passed. <sighs> yeah. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together and for a long time. For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. Damn romance. Yeah, yes! Find out from her how things are going with the samples. And don't forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was already told about this. You seem like a grown man. You are so naive, Thomas. Go already. Find out about the samples. Those sam samples in your pants. Hey, Thomas, you won't believe it. I discovered something interesting here. These organisms respond to light. I did a little experiment. I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. Activity dropped sharply. But when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? They've multiplied. Yes, can you imagine? I kept the box in the dark just for a minute and they doubled in number. It looks like it. And I noticed something else. When I conducted an experiment with light, I dimmed the lights in the room and began to observe. I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack, and then become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. That's right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. That's for sure. I'm tired as a dog. Yeah, I hope so. I feel uneasy in this bunker. Well, okay. 
I'll go to sleep then. Good night, and sweet dreams, Thomas.
Please, somebody. Thomas, is that you? God, I'm so glad to hear you. Listen, I need help. I'm in the hangar. I went to get fuel for the snowmobiles. I got pinned here. I, I think I'm bleeding. Okay, I'm waiting. Please hurry. gotten into you. Thomas? Is that you? It was Victor. He began to behave strangely. He tried to attack me. I screamed, hoping to wake you up. He blocked my path to you, and I got out of the bunker through another exit. Yes, he chased me all over the bunker, but I was able to get out, and he ran after me. When I ran outside, he caught up with me and locked me here in the lab. I don't know. Please, let me out of here. Yes, he closed all the doors in the laboratory. I don't know. Yes, I'm okay. But hurry up. He can come back at any moment. Uh, how long do I have to wait for you, Thomas? I think I'm getting worse. Trust her. It wasn't like that. She attacked me and tried to either bite me or scratch me. It was I who ran away from her and ran into the cold, just to escape. I lured her into the laboratory at the base and locked her there. I wanted to refill the snowmobiles before waking you up, but... Stop. Finally. Ah, 
you sure know how to calm me down. I don't know. I just went to get fuel to start at least one of the snowmobiles, and suddenly all these boxes fell on my feet. Ugh. Why are these so heavy? Do you really want to fucking talk about this right now? I'm bleeding, man. Help me, please. I think I saw a pry bar in the hangar here. Like a long metal piece. Hurry! I can't feel my legs anymore. I managed to escape just as he broke through the roof. What is this creature? 
growths? Trust her. What about the dogs? Oh my god. When you and Victor fell asleep, I couldn't because of Victor's snoring. So I decided to go and do a couple more tests. It haunted me that these organisms, after so many years, were so active. I started watching them again. Then I decided to go have a cup of tea. And when I returned, I saw a broken test tube on the floor. Apparently, I accidentally touched it and dropped it while getting up from the table. What? I didn't do it on purpose. Anything can happen. Anyway, we have a whole block of ice with these samples. Well, I just took a rag and wiped the floor, then took the bucket of water and rag to the toilet. After that, I went to lie down on the sofa in the living room. When I woke up, I went to the toilet, and Victor was there. He just stood there, looking in the mirror. You know, like a zombie. And next to him, I saw an overturned bucket with a rag, and it seemed to me that the rag was covered in some kind of slime. So I asked Victor, but he didn't answer. When I came closer, I saw his empty gaze. He turned to me, but it was like he was looking through me, you know? He reached out to me and grabbed my hand. I started screaming and struggled to escape. I tried to run away from him towards you and wake you up, but he blocked my path. And then I remembered that in that part of the bunker, there was a way out. I was so scared, I just ran away. Please forgive me, Thomas. No, it's not okay. Victor ran after me, caught up with me at the base, and locked me inside the laboratory. It felt like something was controlling him. It was as if something was giving him instructions. That's for sure. Then he left, as if he heard a call. He walked toward the hangar, and after about 15 minutes, you came. We need to find him. Together, we can handle him. Tie him up? Call for help? What do you mean we can't do it? What? How? What the hell? Damn. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into, Thomas? So let's get out of here. What's the plan? Okay. Sounds like a good plan. What about this creature? Okay. That sounds reasonable. Hey, nothing will happen to you, okay? Okay.
this station. Answer. Thomas, is that you? What the hell's going on over there? Maya said that you and Victor died. And now I hear your voice loud and clear. What the fuck? Uh, about an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She was crying. She said that Victor went crazy and attacked you and her. She said he fucking killed you. Then after about 15 minutes, we heard a one-way transmission. That was you that told us what happened with the dogs and some gross that filled the bunker. We tried to answer you, but you didn't hear us. After that, we tried again to contact Maya, but she didn't answer us either. That sounds crazy, Thomas. Seriously, are you trying to make jokes there? Fine, Thomas. Calm down. Did you say us? So Maya is alive? Okay, calm down, Thomas. Stay safe. We're already getting ready. We'll be there in about a half an hour. I know you're on edge, but have you seen this weather? The helicopter will blow away on takeoff. I understand, Thomas. Listen, we'll be there soon. Most importantly, stay in a safe place. You understand? She's a liar.
floating underwater in the basement, right? You do realize that we did ask you about what happened, right? It's our job. No problem, Mr. McReady. Okay, we'll continue later. Fine. You better get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> 